This is a quick tutorial about how to create a greeting card using Google Slides. From your Google Drive, you're going to click on New, Google Slides. Once it loads, we're going to get rid of the content of the slide so it's blank. So we're going to click on each element and hit Delete. Okay, now we want to put the front of your card in the first slide. We're going to open up a tab and we're going to do an image search for 1940s Christmas card. Click on images, scroll down, find an image you like. I like this one. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose copy image, go back to the presentation, right click, paste. Move it to the middle. Let's add a border. Let's make it thicker. Now, I'm going to go and create another slide. And this is going to create, this is the slide that's going to be the inside of your card and it's going to create your letter from Spence to his parents. So, I'm going to click on Insert Text Box. I'm going to click and drag to create a text box. Again, I'm going to choose a border color. I'm going to choose a border width, but I have to create two because a card is something that you open up and it's got two sides. So I'm going to right click, choose copy, right click, choose paste. Then I'm going to drag this over so it lines up. Over here is where I start typing. Dear mom and dad. Now Spence is writing, so he's not typing. So we want to change the font to something that's like a script. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And this is where you're going to put your two paragraphs. And you're going to end somewhere over here with love Spencer or all my love Spencer, however you want to do it. And now all we have left to create is the back of your card. So we're going to add another new slide and we're going to get rid of the contents. The back of the card is going to contain a collage of things related to Spence's situation. So I'm going to search for Foxhole World War II. All right, I'm going to click here. I'm going to right click, copy image, go to my presentation insert another text box, hit paste. Let's make that, let's give that text box a border color, just like the rest. And then we're going to drag that in. Now I'm going to fill this with about four different images related to Spence's life. And the last thing I'm going to do is I need to create my card logo. So let's say I like, um, I'm going to use a fleur de lis. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to drag it because we've all seen the back of a card. There's usually like a little hallmark theme or some other um, logo related to the maker of the card. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to insert a text box. And I'm going to say Kowalski's cards. I'm going to put that in the middle. And I want to get rid of my border. I don't need a border there. I'm going to make it transparent. And there it is. So you have your front, you have your middle, and you have your back. And the last thing you're going to do is change the name of your file to Kowalski Xmas card or whatever your last name is.